Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Autonotom. And first of all, last week we set up the excavator and we had the, um, the, oh, what's it called? The core sample drill. And I couldn't get anything out of it, right? It turned out I did get something from it, but you can't see it, right? Um, it's only afterwards I went into my um, inventory and it was only when I highlighted it, core sample, no mineral, uh, 9 million mega miller buckets of water in the overworld. And that was, actually that wasn't the one that we did, that was one I took an hour ago. I did about three of them and in three different chunks because I've, as you can see I've got the chunks back up. And I did one over there closer to the closer to that second uh, post and there was nothing there. I did one over here by the trees. There was nothing here. This is the last chunk I'm going to put the core sample drill. But this time I'm going to show you exactly because what we did was correct and something did come out, but I didn't know. So I'll just show you guys again. So there is our connector. There's our coil, relay to the pump, the core drill sample. Right click with an empty hand, you see the little animation. And then you right click again. And now I have a core sample in my hand. If I check here, ah, okay so here we have an iron vein no fluid reservoir overworld um is given the uh the chunk coordinates and it ex it expects a yield okay so now we know we have iron in this chunk i did other chunks and there was nothing so i will leave this here i will move the excavator at some point and I could try it but I'm not going to do that today today I want because I was looking at the quests and it's like well we need to get more um, power and we need to do some other things and I was looking at the solar tower we need all of these things and then I looked in the book do I have the book on me or did I take it out I may have taken it out I must have taken it out I was looking in the book and I have to be honest, I'm struggling with immersive engineering right now because of the because of all the extra all the extra things that I need to do just in order to get it to work. So I think I need to take a little bit of a break. And I thought, well, we need more power. What we can try to do to get more power, we could do mechanism. So we're going to try and get into mechanism because that tab is open. So in order to get into that. I have extended the base. I now have a nice large-ish room here in the back. If you remember before all of this was land, grassland, and I've extended it. I hadn't quite finished it. I was just trying to get it to finish, trying to get it finished before I started recording. So now it's right up against our Woot factory, mob factory that we're, you know, not too fussed about. Is this still this isn't still running, I don't think. It's hooked up, but I don't think it's running. Is it? I don't think it... Yeah, it wasn't running. There you go. Right, sorry. So, so yeah, so we have that, but now I've extended. So let's go in and let's have a look. I haven't taken down this wall yet because I did up the sides and the back wall first and then I was trying to I was replacing the floor manually flattening it out and everything by hand well not by hand but with a with a, um, a pickaxe and paxel and then I remembered we have exchanges in this we did this ages ago so I went and just leveled it out and then exchanged all the dirt for cobblestone. I left the stone here in the corner because I kind of liked it. I liked how it looks. 
but um but yeah that made my life a whole lot easier so sometime between this week and next week or this episode and next episode i will take down this wall to make the room bigger but this is going to be our mechanism area so oh yeah walk straight into this machine so we have our metallurgic infuser we made that ages ago that was the first thing that we made and that is one of your very basic things there is no book for um for mechanism as far as i can see but you do have various generators because wondering how on earth you're going to hook up power and so on but you do have generators Ge no mechanism mechan they got three pages of stuff they have all these exotic looking things apparently it's quite easy to get into obsidian tnt Ooh, that looks interesting but you have gases and so on so it's easier to it's different things that we can play with black glow panel okay and um, what are these tritanium gaseous brine sodium ethylene okay these are all liquids or gases or both sulfur dioxide okay liquids liquids these are all heavy water okay right so we have lots of different things i think it might be the time to get into it see if we can get some more power generation going and then come back to immersive engineering so um i'm sorry if you guys were hoping to see some more progression into this but like i said it i'm really struggling with it and um i need to take a little bit of a break from it so we will come back to it because i want to be able to say i've finished the book 100 percent well pretty much 100 percent as much as i can so go back mechanical upgrades we did um the metallurgic infuser which i just picked up and it says mechanism is an advanced tech mod that adds a lot of cool machines generators and tools that enable res advanced resource processing and power generation with mechanism you can produce up to five ingots per ore produce millions of R rf per tick and parallel access up to seven items at once the first step is to get a metallurgic infusion infuser which allows you to infuse iron and um, osmium ingots with redstone to produce enriched alloy and basic control circuits respectively um, the alloy can be further infused with diamonds and refined obsidian to make more advanced alloys for more advanced machines and upgrading your circuits to more advanced versions you know what i don't did we claim we must have done oh because you get both it's not like you have to pick one so let's get those out and we can go to the next step we have to make a generator it doesn't mention that but you have to make a generator there are generators fancy energy storage energy cubes will store massive amounts of power and that's not even the largest storage mechanism offers okay so maybe we can go that way because we've done the, the um, metallurgic infu um do we have to let's see how this how this goes let's go across first and then come down into the energy because once we have lots of energy then we can power everything else on the base because my problem with immersive engineering is that in order to um produce large amounts of energy like for example with the diesel thing you have to use you know with the seeds and stuff which is all well and good but then i find that these are always getting in these are always filling up and then i have no it's not moving fast enough so i don't know maybe this isn't producing enough energy i don't know but it's not it's not as streamlined as i'd hoped so let's go with mechanism and see what we can get from there and then hopefully come back and finish it that way because when you're playing mod packs you 
usually you don't only have just that one mod to play with it's usually you've got lots of different options so you have lots of different options for power lots of different options for cables that kind of thing so yeah okay right um, generator we need to make a heat generator because that uses lava or lava or coal right, do we have any of that we need a furnace stick a furnace in there so a heat generator hold L sh left shift for details no owner security public stored energy inventory okay well we're on a private I mean it's only me playing on this so obviously it's not we don't have to worry about other people accessing it and left shift and M for a description a generator that uses the heat of lava or other burnable resources to produce energy okay right so let's make that we have the heat generator now. Do we have... I should have gotten a bucket of lava. Because I think a bucket of lava can go a long way. Alright, let me go downstairs, get some lava, and I will be back. Okay, so I got... Um, I got some lava. I got... I put some wood in it as well, because... I think I may have misheard what I, what I heard. Which was... That lava goes a long way. It didn't need a bucket of lava. That made a little bit, so I put some wood in. And that's filled. It converts it to lava. From what I can see. Transferred. Okay. So this little sun button, it tells you how much is transferred. And it can... Okay. So it goes different... Different... Um, what's the word units what's this producing maximum output is 120 rf per tick that's what you're putting in security public okay well like i said i'm playing by myself so that's not a problem but i'm guessing we could lock it so then we're the only ones who could use it might as well get into that habit and this is got to be redstone and it's disabled by default which is cool and this, I believe, is somewhere where you can charge things as well. But we don't have anything to charge at the moment. Oh, no. Um, this. This needs charging. This, yes, this can... So that means then... Can I charge the exchanger? I can. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's fully charged. Okay, we're going... Hopefully, Mechanism has some kind of pump or some kind of better generator. Um, we need... Let me see. All right, back. Under this, we have fancy power transmission. Because we got all of these cables. We didn't actually make these cables. We got all of these cables from loot crates. So, it said it was complete but we didn't actually make it so basic universal cable do I have that I don't even know if I have basic universal cable I've got ultimate universal cable which all right let's have a look so you got basic advanced elite and ultimate we have ultimate and you get eight more ultimate um, so universal cables transfer power I am guessing that we put it in one side and out the other now do we need let me see okay um Sorry, I had to stop and do something, and now I've forgotten what I was saying. Right, we have the cable, but, oh, I went and put cable on the back here, but it's not transferring. I don't know what I need to, I think the configurator, configurate items. I'm guessing that's what we need. Let's 
like the wrench for it. Seismic reader, gauge dropper, flamethrower. I saw we had the atomic disassembler, which is, I've seen that in action. That's pretty cool. I think the configurator is what we need. Let's go, let's go make that. I keep forgetting to do the wireless. Why didn't we do wireless on on our um on our storage? I can't remember why. Maybe we were supposed to and I'd forgotten. I don't know. Okay, um what are we looking for? Config configurator. Alright, so we need an energy tablet. Which is that. That needs to be That's it. Oh, it takes the energy tablet. Oh, it takes everything, probably. And then we can power it up. Oh, configurating mechanically. Oh, that was this. Oh, okay. Um, oh, there you go. The configurator is the wrench of mechanism. See, worked it out all by myself. It has many different modes, including wrench mode, which can be used to instantly break machines and cables slash pipes, rotate mode, which can be used to rotate machines, and mode specific to resource types, such as item, fluid, gas, etc., that allow you to set various sides of machines for those inputs and outputs, or to manipulate the cables and pipes directly to force input and output. Check your key binds and ensure you have a key set for the mechanism item switch mode in order to change the mode of the configurator. Okay, uh, mechanism, mechanism item switch mode. Alright, so to change our key binds, if we go to options, controls, and then we have to look for mechanism in the list. Uh, it's in alphabetical order, which helps. Uh, mechanism. Uh, mechanism item switch mode, which is M. Okay. Well, I guess it has to be um, has to be charged first. That might help. But I'm really going to have to work on the wireless charging on this thing. Not wireless charging. Wireless. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, energy, dark green. Redstone sensitivity turned on, turned off. Okay, if it was turned on, that means it was off in the first place. Okay. Oh, that's going to be none, none, okay. Output. Oh, so it's telling you what it does. Okay. And that's none. That's output. Okay. But we still have no... Okay. Oh, interesting. Side config. Eject off slots. This is going to be the back. Input dark red. I was input from the side as well. Energy dark green. Infuse none. Okay. So if we put, I don't know, does, is that going to be input as in energy or input as in using 20 RF per tick, but it needs 80 RF per tick. Okay. Energy. Maybe that's how it accepts energy. Using 20 needed 8. No, that's just changing the units. It says it hasn't transferred anything. So, okay. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> which is normal. 
Am I missing something really basic here? Um, all right, so this can be charged. Let's put some more wood in. They've got to have some kind of pump though, so that you can pump things in. Alright, that's up to all. Okay, that's not doing anything. Oh, something's happening. Oh no, that's going up. I... Ah, uh, pick a loot chest. Exchange it mechanically. Oh, so you had, you had, mecha you had mechanism exchangers, and you've got the LV, MV, and HV exchanger. Okay. Um. Why doesn't this work though? Is it that it's it needs a basic one, maybe? All right, let's go make a basic cable. It could be that it's the wrong type of cable because that is the ultimate cable which you would think maybe the cable's too high a rating uh, basic cable basic universal cable um, while we're here what do we need for the wireless thing wireless Oh no, we needed mechanism. Yes, that's why we didn't do it. Right, okay. <laughs> as long as it wasn't something like I didn't get around to it, but no, we needed mechanism. I will knock down this wall. Uh... Right. Ultimate Universal. Oh, did it lose the Ultimate? Oh, no, it didn't. Why are you not picking up? Oh! Do they have... Do they have power in them? And those core samples disappeared because they're not there in my inventory anymore because I didn't put anything there. Okay. That's Ultimate Universal. That should be basic universal. Let's step back. Okay, still nothing. Oh, is maybe the redstone signal is is and the redstone signal is disabled. Security trusted public. Nope. That didn't do anything either. It's not transferring anything. And it's not producing anything. Maybe we need to... Yeah, it's not got anything in it. Transporter config. Why is there no book for this? Strict input, go back. Okay, oh, that's pretty cool. Upgrades. We don't have any upgrades. Oh, I really hate these kind of mods that don't let you know what's going on. I did kind of have a look at a, at a guide. Energy. Okay, maybe we should get energy on the side. Can we get energy on the side? Alright, this take energy from the back and the side all right maybe oh, no, it says it needs a pickaxe uh, that works 
and of course you don't actually want to now the core samples back it had disappeared I don't know um, all right let's put a couple of things away the lever and that now that's another core sample I I don't know why the core samples are not showing up and why they do that I have no idea all right um, let's take you down I right, got those two back step back a little bit put that there yeah it's still not doing anything I don't know this is all right this is where I'm going to go and have a look because this is stumping me because the game itself hasn't oh when I put it between them it didn't have those two nodes all right has that anyway I don't know all right there's nothing in the guide itself that's because this doesn't say anything about producing power because it says you make the enrichment chamber all right what I'm going to do is we can make these two and then we'll see how to hook it up rather than me wasting time saying I don't know what's going on let's make the other the other things hopefully I have the things that I need to make it and then we can look at trying to hook it up um, enrichment chamber enrich enrichment chamber okay what are we missing steel casing all right we can make that enrichment chamber we've got that actually let's put some of this stuff in here the dirt the nether rack all right leave that for now and choice reward compressed cobblestone compressed diamond compressed carbon all right all right compressed carbon is coal in the enrichment chamber compressed redstone is redstone in it and compressed diamond is diamond so uh let's pick the diamond all right uh one compressed diamond and we can claim that smelting smeltables the energized smelter is pretty self-explanatory it's a powered furnace okay um smelter again we're missing the casing all right we can make two of those so hopefully that's enough to make our things and all right we get a loot chest crushinator the crusher is used to crush ingots and diamonds into dust cost cobblestone into gravel gravel into sand and sand into silicon it's also used to crush mo uh, mm. It's also used to crush organic materials into biofuel as well as being an integral part of the more advanced ore, setting, ore processing chain later on. Okay, crusher. Can we do that? Can we spell? Oh, we need two buckets of lava. Okay. Give me, I need to bring up a, a, a gallon of lava. Uh, I need to bring up a, a stone drum with lava or something. 
Give me a second, I will be back. Okay, um, I've got my two buckets of lava. And we have the crusher. The crushinator. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, get another loot chest. Claim, go back. And what's this? Mechanic, no, sawing logs. The precision sawmill increases the yield from logs, giving you six planks instead of four. It also produces sawdust as a byproduct, which can be used to make paper or the cardboard box. It can also be used to recycle some wooden items back into, back into planks. Oh, that sounds useful. Why didn't they do mechanism first? That would have been so much more useful. Okay, can we make this? Uh sawmill no we are missing steel casing what do we need for that steel sheet metal okay um can we convert the slabs back in yes we can awesome Alright, so sawmill. We're gonna have to make some more steel soon. Oh. We want that, we want that, we want that. Again we can make two more, that's fine. Are you going to desk thank you? Okay, so we get wood and a cardboard box. Although it doesn't say what we need the cardboard box for. Basic factories. No. Mechanical upgrading. Alright, so we're not going to look at that right now. We've done all of these. Which is awesome. But now it's just getting them all hooked up. That is the only thing. So let's see if we can have a look. Open, thank you. All right, so the infuser. Are we full? We are full. Okay, so we have the infuser. We have uh, the crusher, the smelter, enrichment chamber put down the enrichment chamber put down the smelter what's this put down the crusher and the sawmill of course this all needs power and it's not getting any okay right so I worked out what I was doing wrong I had the heat generator backwards which is a bit <laughs> that was not obvious at all but there you go it was backwards so that square port that you could see that was actually um, input and output for the, um, the different things for not for different things for energy so as soon as I turn that around, it hooked up to the cables and everything's working. So yeah, actually when we went and put the, the thing on it, oh, it doesn't actually light up anyway, so. All right, cool. So we've made all of these different machines. They're all receiving power. The metallurgic infuser, it says it's, oh no. Right, so the metallurgic infuser, how do you use this? Can we see our recipes? Okay, so diamond dust and enriched alloy gives you reinforced alloy. Obsidian and reinforced, okay, tin and copper gives you bronze. Biofuel, dirt, podzol. 
diamond and obsidian gives you re refined obsidian dust. So that's a diamond dust. Com uh, charcoal and gold grit gives you what? Whole whole rom? Whole rom? Okay, no idea what that is. All right, stone. Oh, you can get mossy stone bricks. You need biofuel, which you get from the crusher. Okay. All right, so this is this is not too bad, not too shabby. Okay, so we have the basics of our mechanism system. Tin dust and copper gives you bronze. Mushroom and dirt gives you mycelium. Oh, nice. And charcoal and iron gives you enriched iron. How do you make steel? Can you make steel with this? Um, if I put at mechanism and steel, um, smelting, steel dust, which is charcoal and enriched iron, gives you steel dust. Okay. So, so far, the easiest way to make steel is by using tiny progressions. But you can make steel with the metallurgic infuser. Okay, that's good to know. Well, all right, we've made, we've, we've, we've started. We've made all of our, we've made all of our basic machines. We can make upgrades at the end of it. So the type, the cable that I had on was the basic cable, but I could put on any type of cable and it would have, yeah, because this was backwards, but that's fine. Um, we have, before we go, we have three loot crates to open, loot chests. Okay, uh, storage upgrades. Oh, more cables. Nice. And acceleration cards. All right, not too bad. The acceleration cards and the cables, they will come in very handy. The, um, whatever we got the first time round. Uh, storage upgrades, not so much because we've gone past that, but that's fine. That is absolutely fine. So, we've started with mechanism. In the next episode, I think... Fancy power transmission. It's talking about better armor, triple ingots, mechanical fluid. Okay, so maybe we should look at um, tripling our output because that would make life a whole lot easier for us. Next week, mechanical upgrading, basic factories. We'll go across the top and see if that opens up anything. And then if not, then we'll start looking at exchanges. Well, that's that's enough. We've made we've we've started. We will carry on. Next week we will do upgrades. So, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.